Chicle. Yo, welcome to Chicle Chat. It's your boy Chicle, and we are back at it again with another Broadway review video. And in today's video, we're going to be doing a Broadway review video on Freestyle Love Supreme. Bring, 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 bring. This was originally like a comedy show that's kind of like wild and out mixed with whose lines anyway but it was really old and this is something that lynn manuel miranda created before in the heights and before hamilton so it's on broadway now at the booth theater and it's going to be running until december january so i'm going to talk to you guys about my experience when i got to see freestyle love supreme which was on monday night at 10 p.m october 14th but before we do Make sure you guys do the following, hit the like button, the subscribe button, and that little notification bell. And with that being said, guys, let's go. Hey, I am feeling the inner hip hop of myself right now. I even got a Freestyle Love Supreme snapback. Shout out to Shannon Pretty for the merch. All right, anyway, let's get started with the video. So what is Freestyle Love Supreme about? Like I said, it's literally made up. So you have these people come in, the cast of Le Freestyle Love Supreme, plus a couple guest stars on Broadway, and they get suggestions from the audience, like a word, some stories, a scenario, like all this stuff, and they just make up these games where like, you know, all this stuff, and then they just do some rapping and stuff. It's so hilarious, and no matter what happens, they're on fire. It's crazy. So honestly, a lot of people say that it's a different night every night. So not only do they have a different guest, like even the ushers say they have no idea what's gonna happen. Even the cast comes on stage and they're like, we have no idea what's gonna happen. You're gonna help us out. So before the show, they have you guys like write down a word, a piece of paper, um, any word, and then they put it in a bucket and it's part of the game. And then you guys just have to like have stuff ready and they'll throw it at you and stuff. So people did I see at the show on that night, I got to see Andrew Brankoff, aka Jelly Donut. He basically hosts the show. We had Anissa Folds, aka Young Knees. Woo! Diva, love her. Then we had Arthur Lewis um, on the keyboard. And we also had Bill Sherman on the other keyboard. Shockwave, Chris Sullivan, aka Shockwave, beatboxing master, probably a beatbox god, if that's a thing. Just He's the one that definitely like brought the show to life with just a and a. I can't beatbox. And I believe they also had Anthony Vinzelay. I don't know his name, but anyway, his nickname is Two Touch. And they had a couple guest stars. They had Rain of Fire, and they also had James Monroe Idlehart, who I actually wanted to see so bad. I saw him in Hamilton. Wish I would have saw him in Hercules and Aladdin. But I was so happy that I got to see him in Free Asylum Slope Supreme. The opening number that they did when they first come on stage, like, microphone check, microphone dead, boom, check, check, and they got the audience going. I was, like, doing this, and, like, James Monroe Eichelhart actually, like, looked straight at me in the eye and, like, saw I was, like, grooving, and he was like, all right, yeah. And I was like, yo, he noticed me. Because I was at the front orchestra on the left, because I won the lottery for this, so I got a lottery seat. Oh man, it was the greatest moment ever. Also, I want to say that sometimes Lim and Weller Miranda will sometimes be in the show, and I heard they will always show up on Mondays. And he was in the Monday show on 7 p.m. instead of 10 p.m., but I usually arrive at the theater early, so I got to see Lim and Weller in person. Oh my gosh, he was like this close to me as he was walking by to get to his car um, as the driver was escorting him. He was like talking to people. He was being very social. He was so nice in person. I just like froze because like one, I was waiting in line because I was the first in line, so I can't get out of line. And two, I was like getting my phone, so I never got a chance to talk to him. But oh my gosh, the experience of being so close to Lin Manuela Miranda in person, it's so crazy. Like I'm a fan of Hamilton. I saw him in the movie Mary Poppins Return. Ah, oh, it was a treat. And I got to see Freestyle Love Supreme and it made me love it more like, it's just that vibe that Lynn Marat Manuela did. And he wasn't even in the show. But I mean, everybody in the cast was just so amazing. And like, there's nothing to explain it, guys. Like, if you really want to see the show, enter the Freestyle Love Supreme lottery and get a chance to win $35 tickets. And 
They also have like a deal on today takes. You get tickets for like 59 bucks or something like that. And I know like there's 79 dollar tickets for 10 p.m. shows because I think they're cheaper than the 7 8 p.m. shows. Um, anyway, I'm giving this a 13 out of 10. Uh, obviously, it was all made up. The audience went crazy. This was just. <sighs> Guys, this is like. I know it's not a musical or a play. It's on Broadway, so it technically it counts as a Broadway review. Um, you're gonna experience something different than I did, alright? Like, just, just go and check it out. That's pretty much all I have. Next week, we're gonna actually do a Broadway review on an actual Broadway show. And by the time of recording, I don't know what it is yet. But anyway, stay tuned. See you guys next time. Peace!